tutorial, we'll use the Picture Tube tool in Corel Paint Shop Pro 17 to create buttons for use in DVD Architect Pro menus. First, start Paint Shop Pro 17 and select File, New. Set image dimensions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Set resolution to 96 pixels per inch and select raster background. Set color depth to red, green, blue, 8 bits per channel and check the transparent box. Click the add icon and name the preset DVD menu buttons and click OK. Then click OK to create a new image. On the Layers palette, double-click Raster 1, change its name to Background-01, and click OK. Select View, Change Grid, Guide, and Snap Properties. Set all horizontal and vertical grids to 275 pixels. Set both Snap Influence to 50 pixels and click OK. Now select View Grid, then select View Snap to Grid. Select the Picture Tube tool. From the Picture Tube preset drop down list, select the group of pictures you want to use as buttons. Set Placement Mode to Continuous. Set Selection Mode to Incremental. And check Create as New Raster Layer. Now, Move the cursor to the intersection of the bottom horizontal grid line and the far left vertical grid line and click to drop a new picture. On the Layers palette, double-click Raster 1 and rename the layer Button-0-Highlight. dash zero dash highlight. Then click the Settings Save Preset icon, name the preset Highlight and click OK. Change the layer name to button-01-highlight, then click OK. Now, on the Layers palette, right-click button-01-highlight and select Duplicate. Double-click on the Copy of button-01-highlight and change the layer name to button-0-thumbnail. Then, click the Settings Save Preset icon, name the preset Thumbnail, and click OK. Now, change the layer name to Button-01-Thumbnail, and click OK. On the Layers palette, click Background-01 to select it. Now, move the cursor to the intersection of the bottom horizontal grid line and the second from the left vertical grid line and click to drop a new picture. On the Layers palette, double-click Layer Raster 1 and from the Settings preset drop-down list, select Highlight. Change the name to Button-02-Highlight and click OK. On the Layers palette, Right-click button-02-highlight and select Duplicate. Double-click Copy of button-02-highlight. Open the Settings Preset drop-down list and select Thumbnail. Change the layer name to button-02-thumbnail and click OK. Now, repeat the same steps to create highlight and thumbnail layers for button-03. Be sure each layer is named precisely and placed in the exact order shown here, otherwise the buttons will not work with DVD Architect Pro. Finally, select File, Save As, Save As Type, and select PSD Photoshop. Name the file DVD Buttons dash and give it a descriptive name dot PSD and click OK. The buttons are now ready to use in DVD Architect Pro menus. Watch the tutorial entitled Demo Custom Buttons for DVD Architect Menus for detailed instructions on how to use the buttons.